John, just give me your initial thoughts on any ad this additional information we get from the CT. And does this, how does this information uh, for you change or influence how you might think about managing this patient? Well, I think one of the things that you note kind of right off the bat, the, you know, the typical pattern that we will see for a lot of these young displaced femoral neck fractures will be some sort of tension failure anteriorly, which will provide you with a, a clean uh, or more definite read and then, you know, posterior, posterior caudal comminution through the neck. And this one has a little bit of a different pattern. You see a little bit more comminution anteriorly. Um, and then you can also see where the, the femoral neck has uh, kind of impaled itself and almost cavitated some of the, uh, the subcapital uh, area of the femoral head. At least that's what it kind of looks like on these axial images. And so maybe just a little bit of a different um morphology than we're than we're used to seeing um i think that just influences your decision with regard to are you going to uh, attempt a close reduction is this going to be a kind of immediate uh you know open reduction and then you know looking at the ct critically to, to identify where if any you may have a a read some of these common femoral neck fractures are become more um disheartening when you you know when you open them and start trying to piece together things and, and realize that there's just a, a large, large reason. But I, I still think that, you know, I still think that there is, while there's a little bit of combination, you know, I'm leading towards maybe an attempt at close reduction, but a very low threshold to, to transition to an open reduction.